Alrighty, let's play this in full first. Slide. Interesting. Okay, cool. So, first impression that I have here. It feels like that settle overshoot is a bit wobbly. Given that she is so... It feels like there's a lot of tension in here. So, there would be a little bit of maybe a little overshoot. But to me, it feels like it could be just tighter. Given that it's there's such energy and strength in this pose. I think this it's just a bit too wobbly. The question is also, I'm assuming... So is this going to be a door where we don't, like she enters like that? So it could be interesting to maybe, it has a slight feel of just being like a 2D card floating right to left. So it might be interesting to have a bit of a different pose. Maybe even that hand, the staff is higher. This could be bent, maybe slightly different head, or maybe the root is a bit higher. And then she lowers herself into this. Or actually, I would probably not do that. That starts to feel a bit uncomfortable. It's almost like you want to, have more of a streamlined leg pose there like stay in in this although i would probably then shift the pivot like have this side of the shoe all flat on the ground so you don't have this broken foot pose so it's just a bit more on its side if that makes sense then after that this all works because you're moving forward i mean it's you might have to have a little bit of a root moving back maybe back down or back up down over like right now in this position how is she able to move forward because this leg is in front of her so it's difficult to have this leg be the only thing that drives her forward so it needs to be a little bit of a push off off this but since you are fully extended it's going to be tricky to get that so it feels like this could be a bit more powerful where go just the back a bit for some anticipation that gives you a little push off with this. And then you can even, what's the arm doing? You're going into the run. Maybe you can do a thing of also swinging this arm back. To really kind of drive that arm forward. So you can drive that leg forward with the push off. To give this a bit more energy. And then it just comes up a bit later to get into this pose. But once you're here, wah, wah, she feels super slow motion-y. If I play this 25%, 50%. Twice the speed. See, double speed feels better. Obviously, the whole thing is, is now double speed, but the get up and sh 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 getting into this, give it the energy. I mean, you could almost have the whole shot double speed. Versus if you go back to normal speed, we just everything feels just a bit slow motion -y now. So that would be that. We're also getting very far screen right here cutting this off where the question is why like are you potentially because i don't see anything in the email bah, 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 bah. it's mostly body mechanics i don't see anything in terms of what's going to happen later out of something else is going to come in do we need that much room because there's another entrance of something or someone if not you might be better off just kind of panning with her but then watch out it's slightly the same size imagine we're then around here, maybe, compositionally, and then we pop into this. It might not be enough of a change. It might just feel too much of a, like a pop, but it could be worth a try. And then she does this. And I might just need a bit more context. I would start having some basic hand poses in there. There's just something when I look at this, it feels very arm isolated. I don't see much, if anything, in the shoulders nothing in the chest the chest and head feel a bit too locked together this feels a bit better and i would just like quick you know fist pose there and then it gets very to me it has a bit of a even though this is to the side and watch out it feels like an overextended arm here it feels like it just goes straight up and then straight down and i feel like this could be potentially a bit more complex Either you twirl around the staff, she goes a bit more in the Y rotation of the, of the body and then plops down. But I don't know. You let me know what the intent is here besides body mechanics. I feel like this could be a bit more elaborate since we are on the close up. Because you could technically stay in this and just pan with her. No cut. And then you have room to do all kinds of body mechanics. Or if you do this, 
this is a moment where if we're already cutting are we going to do something bear with me where it's maybe more like this or even more even more lambus bread where like that and then it's just all about Cha-cha! Well, we can't see her face then, but you know, maybe you have to tilt down a little bit, but maybe this whole thing is more about the head. I mean, compositionally, let me just bring this down so I can move it up. You know, maybe that would be then more in a more comfortable third, somewhere around here. And even then, she would still be somewhat low enough and we can still tilt down a bit. Just questions. I guess at this point, it's more questions and critique. Like, what do you want to show off here? Would that be something cute to show off more of the face and intricacies in the arms and fingers? Or do you need it to be full body? And then if so, then why not just stay with the original camera and just pan with her to end up like this? I mean, we are looking a bit lower down on her versus here. We're more level. So I don't know. Lots of questions. You let me know how you would like to proceed. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.